Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I wanted to hop on here and review the new salted caramel pretzel candle um, because I have a lot of things to say about it and um, it's it's a, uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you guys know, this is part of the limited edition um, release. This is candle number four that came out. Um, and so I still need to review the other ones for you. I've collected all of them. So this is number four and um, they're going to be bringing out two more for, uh, I know at least two more. Um, so I'm really excited about it. And, um, and like I said, I don't even know if they're going to be bringing out um, any for Christmas or that type of thing. That'd be really exciting. But I know um, two more, at least two more are coming out. So it's a weekly candle drop and I hope they continue through this through like the holidays. I think it would be really, really fun. So anyways, I want to talk about the salted caramel pretzel. So as you can see on the front, it has the gold label. It has the, um, it came with a gold lid. I don't have the lid, not gold lid. Oh yeah, that's right. I mentioned, I wish that it had come with a gold lid. I mean, it's like minor details, but I think that would have made it even better. Like if it had a gold lid, it came with just a silver lid, um, which is no, like I said, no big deal. Um, but, um, it's interesting because the sweater weather and sweet cinnamon pumpkin, um, I have that candle. I don't have it near me right at the moment, but that had a really ornate lid and this one was kind of just kind of simple. So, um, okay. But let's talk about the packaging. It's really cute with the pretzels all over it, okay? We've got the um, the pretzels with salt and then some pretzels with like sprinkles on them. Now this is a color changing, I'll turn the light off too so you can see it a little bit better. This is a color changing label as well. So all the ones that they're bringing out, these limited edition ones, are color changing. So this was originally, when I started, it was all an orange label and then it has moved into yellow. So um, most of it's almost gone. Like most of the orange is gone and it's mostly just yellow now. Now when it's done cooling off, it'll come back to the orange. It'll all be orange again, the background, and this will kind of like fade away. So again, it'll be like it never <laughs> was burned, you know, it'll go right back to orange, but it does take a while to do that. It'll take a couple hours. So, so anyways, now as far as the scent goes, let's talk about the scent. So the notes are actually in the front as well as the bottom. So soft pretzel, we've got brown butter caramel and sea salt. So what I was hoping for is I was really hoping it would smell like an Aunt Annie's pretzel, like from the mall, you know, the um, ones that are made that are like made of dough, not like the hard pretzels that are like, you know, in a bag at the grocery store, which I love those, but I was really um, hoping it would smell like the um, pretzels, like the doughy ones. So it does kind of, kind of smell like that to me, kind of. Um, and mostly what it smells like is it smells like the, um, it smells like buttery popcorn, this candle. I brought it over to show you guys. It really smells so, so similar. Like they're definitely siblings. Um, the buttery popcorn and salted caramel pretzel. I will say, as soon as I started burning this, I um, I was like to my kids, I told my kids, I was like, I have to review this online. I was like, this is amazing. The throw is amazing. It is a 10 out of 10. It's one of those, as I call them, when they're 10 out of 10s, it has legs and it walks. I mean, the scent whiffs and waves, or however you want to say it, throughout my house. I have a two-story house. It is a strong one. Very, very strong. And I... I it's one of those that I, I love and I won't, but I don't want to burn it, um, for long periods of time because it's so gourmand, which I love gourmand, but this is super buttery, you guys, like super buttery. So this is one I definitely wanted to like review because I was super impressed with the throwing power on this one. Super impressed. Like within minutes of lighting it, my whole room was filled up. And now that is a strong candle. So, so you know, sometimes they take a little bit longer to warm up <laughs> and start um, throwing. But yeah, this one is just I, I immediately almost. It's almost like when I, as soon as I lit it, it started throwing. It was amazing. So, yes, what I want now, you probably want to know what am I smelling? So, um, good question. I am <laughs> mostly smelling, like I mentioned, buttery popcorn. It smells like movie theater popcorn. It really, really does, you guys. And so the notes on this one, I, I brought the buttery popcorn. See, I haven't even, well, I'm basically almost finished this one. But um, the key notes on the buttery popcorn are melted butter, fresh popcorn, and a sprinkle of sea salt. So you know, this one, they both have sea salt, so that's a matching note, <laughs> um, and that's about it. Fresh popcorn, no. Melted butter. So 
that, let's see, we have soft pretzel and um, brown butter. So brown butter caramel. So I guess the only difference is, is it has a little bit of a sweeter, little tiny bit of a sweeter note than the buttery popcorn. But really, you guys, it smells like movie theater popcorn. Like you walk into the theater, you know how you walk into the concession area and they're popping popcorn and then you, and it, it's like it's drizzled. You ask for extra popcorn. It's like that drizzly melted popcorn, or excuse me, butter that they put on the popcorn. That's exactly what it is. It has a little, like I said, a little bit of sweetness to it and that's the caramel, but mostly it reminds me of this candle. So, um, and obviously I loved it because I burned all the way through it, right? So obviously I loved it. It's a very warm and a great, this again would be a great movie night ca uh, candle, like if you have a movie on and uh, you want to just kind of like have kind of like an ambient candle in the background, this does give you that movie theater feel. Um, and also a, uh, you know, like a, just a great conversation piece too. What I love about this candle and the limited edition candles that are, have been released is that they're very, uh, unique, like the bacon one, <laughs> candy maple bacon. I have that too, which I need to review. Um, all of those have unique, very one of a kind scents and very gourmand and very, um, well, I haven't burned yet the sweater weather one. That's not really gourmand, but the uh, espresso martini one I have also gourmand. I burned that one, but the, yeah, they're just like really food scented and really yummy and fun and fall scents too. Great fall winter scents, great rainy day scent. I, I think this is, like I said, a great weather. Uh, like today it's raining today. I think this is a good, it's raining. You guys finally in Elk Grove. I just want to mention too, Elk Grove, California. We've got rain today and it's just so amazing. I'm loving it so much. It's cold right now outside. I'm just loving this weather. Um, and so, yeah, um, but yeah, anyway, okay, you guys, so that's basically wrapping it up. What I feel about this candle, how I, I, would I buy it again? Yes, because of the throwing power is 10 out of 10 and it's super, um, reminiscent of movie, like being at the movie theater and it's fun and it's, it's in, like inviting and again, conversation piece, um, unique, one of a kind. I couldn't find this candle anywhere else. Like this is just like very amazing. Like uh, it's just, like I said, I know a lot of you mentioned in my comments too, that you bought four or five of this one and you were so right to do so. Like I only got one. I only bought one, you guys. So like I said, um, I, I see, see why. And you know, what would be really great if this came in a wallflower refill. Oh my gosh, that'd be so much fun. If this, if this does, I don't know if they'll ever bring it in a wallflower refill. It does say new. So I don't know if they're testing Bath and Body Works is testing these scents out. I have no clue at all because they're limited edition. So I don't know if they're just seeing how well these sell to see if they're going to make them into any other kind of product. Um, you know, even in hand soap, this would actually be pretty amazing in hand soap. Like I would dig that too, like hand soap, um, wallflower refill, um, you know, those types of home, uh, home things that we could use like I would totally use that before I forget I want to actually turn the lights off and show you what the label looks like a little bit better in the dark okay so I'll be right back I'm gonna turn the lights off okay that is much better I think I feel like this gives a better idea of what the label looks like um it's actually almost all yellow because this has been going for a while now this candle so it's pretty much warmed up the whole <laughs> the whole label um but yeah that's kind of a 360 tour of it but yeah you guys so that's, it looks so pretty and so cute, um, you know, like ambient lighting. It's very, it gives off a lot of light, I have to say. It's like really, it, it's burning evenly as well. It's giving off a lot of light because it, you know, doesn't have the whole wraparound uh, label there. Let me go ahead and turn the lights back on here. All right, friends, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I would love to hear what your opinion is of this candle. Um, are you also picking up the movie theater popcorn like me? Um, are you getting more of like the uh, salted caramel pretzel like the label says? I don't know. I, I'm just getting movie theater popcorn uh, with a little little bit of caramel. So anyways, you guys, yes. Oh, and salt. I do, I do pick up the salt as well. So thank you guys so much again for watching and being here. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe. My returning family, a huge thank you once again for being here, for everybody for being here. And have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you're at and whenever you're seeing this. And I will see you all very, very, very soon, okay? So till next time, God bless always, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.